Hi everyone, my name is Abdurrahman, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect Paystack to Slack using Zapier. Now, say you wanted to see all transactions as they come in so your team can celebrate its wins. Using Zapier, you could send details of all successful Paystack transactions to a dedicated Slack channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do just that. Send details of every successful transaction to Slack. To get started, first you visit zapier.com and it brings you to this page. Next, you click on make a zap. Next, you then select your trigger app, in this case, Paystack. So you come right over here and type in Paystack. There you go. Okay. Now on this page, you select your trigger. Now, since what we want to do is send details of every successful transaction to a dedicated channel on Slack, the trigger we select in this case would be new transaction. So let's go ahead and select that and then click on save plus continue. Okay, so now at this step, we're supposed to connect a Paystack account to this integration. So we're going to click on connect an account. And when you do, it asks for a Paystack live secret key. So to get this, we need to go to the Paystack dashboard. So let's do that. So this is my Paystack dashboard. I come right over here to settings and then go to API keys and webhooks and then copy the live secret key. So I click on this to copy and then I go back here, paste the live secret key and then click on yes, continue. Okay, so now here you can see it's Yinka Electronics. So let's test to see that this connection was successful. So we we'll click on test. Uh, yes, success. So we can save and continue to the next stage. Okay, now, so this is asking us for the status of transaction that we want to send to Slack. So in this case, um, what we want to send is successful transactions. So we send, we click on success. Okay, then we click on continue to go to the next step. Okay, so now at this stage, now what it's doing is it's pulling details from a sample successful transaction um, from my business, which is um, Inca Electronics. So since it selected this, I just come here to click on continue to move to the next step. Now at this stage, um, Zapier is prompting me to add an action step. So I click on this to add the action. Okay, so um, we've selected the trigger, which is when a successful transaction happens, I want the successful transaction to be posted to Slack, right? So that other action, which is post successful transactions to Slack, um, is what we're going to do here. And to do that, we need to select the app, in this case, Slack. So you come right over here, search for Slack, click on it, and there you go. So here are all the options to choose from. But what we want to do in our own case is to send a message to a specific Slack channel. So we're going to come right over here and click on send channel message. Then scroll all the way to the bottom and click on save plus continue. Okay. So now this is one Slack channel that has already been connected, but I want to connect another Slack channel. So I come right over here and click on connect an account. And when I do, Yes, so it brings me to um, this page. So now this is the Slack account I want to connect. It's called the Demo Inc. That's the Slack that my business uses. And here is a page full of things um, that Zapier is saying it's going to have access to if I allow um, this connection. So yes, let's allow it and click on Allow. Okay, so there you have it. So this is my um, Slack group. It's called the Demo Inc. That's what we want to connect to. Let's click on test to see that this connection was a success. There you have it, success. So let's click on save, plus continue to then move to the next step. Okay, so now this page is asking me to set up a Slack channel message, which is the message that I am going to see in my Slack channel every time a successful transaction occurs. So first of all, let me show you what um, Slack looks like. And uh, so yeah, this is my Slack. Now this is the particular channel, success transactions, where I want to post details of every successful transaction so that my team can see it and we can celebrate our wins. So let's go back to um, Zapier now. So we're supposed to pick a channel. So click on this drop down. And which channel do we want it to go? We want it to go to the successful transaction channels. 
Chanavara. So we click on this. Okay. Now here we're supposed to type in the message that the rest of my team is going to see when we register a successful transaction. So um, I already like did a copy here. I'm just going to copy it and then take it back to Zapier. So here it is. So it reads, yay, a new customer um, X has just paid you. So um, I want to see how much the customer paid me. I want to see the customer's email address and the customer's phone number, and then a message to motivate the rest of my team, which says, keep up the good work team. So now this is, uh, this is a variable, so I'm going to replace it. So this first name here, I'm going to replace it with an actual first name. To do that, I come right over here and click on this button. So let's click on it and look for first name. So what this is doing is it is mapping um, this variable to certain properties from um, a real successful transaction that my business has recorded in the past. So um, here are all the properties of that successful transaction. So for this case, we're going to click on customer first name because that's what we want. So customer first name. So you can see that it has replaced what was there before. Now the amount paid, for us to select this, we come right over here again, and then look for the amount. So in this case, this is the amount paid. So we just click on it. And then we do same for the customer email. We look for the corresponding property of a real transaction. So customer email, alaniademo.com. We do same for the customer phone number. So we come right over here, customer phone, here it is. Click on it. And then here you go. Yay, a new customer, Alani has paid you. The amount paid is this, the customer email this, phone number, and then keep up the good work team. So now, um, we're going to leave all of this, um, uh, all of these as they are, um, because they're pretty standard. Yes, we want um, the message to be sent by a bot, but name this, all of this. We're going to just keep all of this, and then come right over here, click on continue to move to the next step. Okay. So now let's send a test um, to Slack to see what it looks like inside of Slack. So click on this. And here you can see a message that says a test channel message was sent to Slack just now. So let's go to Slack and see for ourselves. Okay, so here you can see it. Yay, a new customer, Alani, has just paid you. The amount paid is 10,000 Naira. The customer email is alani at demo.com. Here's the customer's phone number and our message to the rest of the team. Keep up the good work, team. So you can see that it worked just fine. So going forward, whenever my business records a successful transaction, everyone on my team will receive a message in this channel and say that, oh wow, someone new has paid to us. So let's go back to Zapier now. I then click on finish. Okay, and now we're about to take our Zap live. So we're going to come right over here to the toggle button and then click on it. And now we're live. So yes, um, that's how to connect um, Paystack to Slack. Thank you so much for staying with me.